if if I were able to contact Indian groups and other black groups outside of Port Wayne, would you be willing to speak with them? Absolutely, absolutely. We, we didn't talk about this beforehand, but uh, I, I actually, uh, my, my grandmother on my uh, mother's side uh, is, uh, is in, uh, partly Native American as well. And so we, I have that uh, connection to the, uh, to the Native American community that you and I have talked about. And I, uh, I'm fascinated by their history. Um, I'm fascinated by some of the challenges that they've had to deal with as, as we've discussed, not only here but across America. So absolutely, I'd love to have the opportunity to speak. You mentioned that you wanted to approach the governor to get his involvement in acknowledging the trail of death. Now, quite frankly, I didn't really, I never heard, I've heard of the trail of tears. And I thought that they were just one symbolic term, the trail of tears, that just covered all the Indian removal I didn't know that there was anything that Indiana was was more specific than that mm -hmm. until I started investigating it. I said, oh boy, I never heard of this here. You know, A lot of people hadn't. But there's the Cherokee Trail of Tears, the Potawatomi Trail of Death, the Navajo Long Walk. Nearly every tribe suffered a forced removal. And some of them have different names. And you're kind of right that they have Trail of Tears as a generic term for all of them. But um, I have uh, asked the governor to issue an apology to the Potawatomi for the Trail of Death because it was the Indiana Governor, David Wallace, who ordered the Trail of Death. So I feel it would be very appropriate, especially for the Indiana Bicentennial this next year. Uh, the Governor of Kansas, Sam Brownback, issued an apology to the Potawatomi for the Trail of Death when we got there on the caravan uh, in September of 2013. And I found out then that the U.S. Congress had apologized uh, to the Indians in uh, 2010, but it didn't receive much publicity. Most people don't even know that the U.S. Congress did an apology because it wasn't given a public reading. Well, then when the Indians found out, they got a copy of it and did a public reading. But still, it's not widely known. Uh, I think I heard that there was another state, maybe South Dakota, was working on apology, but I'm not sure if they've done it or not. You know, since you would make this happen, what can the people of Fort Wayne do to assist your effort? I guess talk about how it would be a good thing. You know, some people say, okay, an apology doesn't do anything. <laughs> what we need is this, you know, money or that, or health care or whatever. But an apology shows that your heart's in the right place. It shows that you really feel differently about it from what people did back many years ago. An apology from a politician? Well, it would show how he feels too.